Hello guys, Prop2010 with you today. Welcome to my 10th command prompt tutorial. This is kind of a mix. It's between run commands and how they can be used inside of command prompt to do specific tasks. So let's first of all let's begin, uh, start off this tutorial by starting up command prompt. I'm going to go to start and type in CMD. And in this case, we want to launch this as administrator because a lot of these commands require administrator privileges in order to be ran correctly. Right click on the command prompt.exe and type it and not type it. Click on run as administrator. Afterwards, you're going to have a, a command prompt window, and then your path should be C Windows System 32. Uh, this, is that, this, this is how you know that you are running it as an administrator. Go ahead and go to this website, link for this in the video description below. And I'm going to show you how helpful this can be in many cases. Alright, so let's say your computer broke, and uh, you have command prompt open, and you have to start up the defragmenter. But you don't know, uh, you, can't, you don't have access to control panel, you don't know where it's at. So right down here, we have a defragmenter right here. Defragment user interface. So all you would type in is this command right here, DFRGUI. So DFRGUI, press enter, and you get command prompt. Not command prompt, disk defragmenter. Let's say I want to start up control panel. I would simply type in control, and that starts up my control panel. Um, and there's many, many, many in here that you can do. If I would be you, I would, I would download this or just print it off somewhere where I can have a have a look to this, so I can have reference in case I really need it. Um, you can do task manager, just task, MGR. Now, what these commands really are, they're they're for they're for the if you do your press the Windows key and then the R. You get a run menu, like in a Windows XP when you had the start run option. This is the exact same thing. We're using the exact same, con uh, we're using the exact same commands, but but command prompt, uh, but command prompt supports these commands also. So you can do it with the run, with the run box. But when you don't have the run box option, you can definitely use command prompt to do the same thing. So. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.